Hi, my name is Gabby and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to budget my first paycheck of May. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I have $1,649.51 to budget and I've already fully funded the month of May. So we're going to go ahead and get started in June. Um, but I guess before I do that, I should say that I am really behind. This money has been sitting here for a week. Today is Friday, May 17th, but I actually got paid last Friday, May 10th. I was out of town traveling, so I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll do it on Sunday um, since I got back pretty early in the morning and then we were tired. And then the rest of the week, this week has just been absolutely crazy. So I'm filming and then uploading this video today and then next week there will be another budget with me. So I'll be back to back. So let's go ahead and start with East Bank. That's our gym. I usually, do I usually do have? I feel like it's been such a long time since I've budgeted that I can't remember. I think I do normally do have. And then my cell phone bill. ComEd, I'll pay, f I'll fund the full amount from my half and then half of the rent. I tried to update the YNAP toolkit to include the fund half like button here instead of having to type it all out, but I couldn't figure it out. Um, I've used it in the past, so I just have to spend a little more time. I, I honestly tried for like a minute, so <laughs> hopefully next time I film a budget with me, that's taken care of. We will fund all of these categories all the way, which is streaming. That's Hulu, Apple One, and Netflix that I split with my boyfriend and my sister. Other monthly subscriptions, these are just ones that I pay for separately from what I split with them. Peloton, and then New York Times and my Aura Ring, and then the yearly subscriptions. Let's take a look at this Target. I was supposed to update this target. Okay, so we're updating that target. So I just need a little bit more money. Um, and that was to include my Stubbs yearly subscription that I split with my boyfriend. And then for my, oh gosh, Sapphire credit card fee. Food I typically do with my second paycheck, so we'll go ahead and leave that for now. Entertainment, I'll send 50. Right, sure, I'll send 50. And then, hmm, maybe I want to do that with my next paycheck. I think right, sure, will save for the next paycheck. And then miscellaneous 25. Does it really matter? No, but um, I think I'd rather stick to what I had originally planned. I'm gonna send $100 to shopping, $50 to hobbies, $30 to personal care. This is about to get used. I had to buy a number of like hair products and I'm out of makeup, so um, I think I'll be using a fair amount of this in the coming weeks, I think. Self-care, I have a massage coming up and I need to get a haircut soon. So there's that. Golf. We'll do 25 for now. That doesn't even cover two times at the driving range, so we'll see. And then I wanted to adjust my tennis target down to 75. And that's because I plan on paying more, or I'm sorry, I plan on playing more free tennis at the park rather than booking things or paying for lessons. So that is good we'll do half the tennis right now and then ten dollars to household consumables okay so in my uh like april or no q1 goals check-in so one of the recent videos i talked about what i want my down payment goal to be i am now hoping to get to eight thousand dollars when the original goal was four thousand 
and I am gonna go ahead and send $125 with this paycheck. If I can do $125 with each paycheck plus the interest from my high yield savings account, I can. I think I can hit that goal. Um, but we'll see. So $125 was sent to that. Oh, you know what? I do have some overspending I need to take care of. Medical and travel. I guess I'll talk about travel first. So down here, I have my travel sinking fund in my sinking funds category like normal. It's overspent by 122.19 and that's just because I, uh, earlier this week I got back from a trip to Charlotte. I just needed a way to visualize when the trips were fully funded and so I broke down the trips based on when the trips will be and then kind of like the budget for that trip. I haven't determined my New York City budget for now. I have $1,000 in there and then I also haven't determined my Salt Lake City budget. I have $700 in there. The $1,000 is literally just spending money. The hotel is paid for with the exception of the portion that you pay at the hotel and then um, food, shopping, souvenirs, you know, things to do over there. The $700 Salt Lake budget does include a flight. So I'll have to purchase a flight and then we'll stay with my sister when we go visit. And then just food and activities there. The UK trip has not been planned at all. We're not sure when we're going to go. We know it's October. We haven't booked anything, but I am starting to save for that. And I think that these are the pretty much all the trips that we'll be taking this year. We went to Puerto Rico earlier in the year, but that's obviously in the past. Um, and then we might do the quick weekend trip, but I'll figure that out when the time comes. My goal for Charlotte was to spend less than $400. And even though the money's here, I'm tracking all of my expenses in the actual travel sinking fund line, which is this one. And I had left some money in there and that's why that's why it's all weird, but we're going to cover this with the CLT. I might have to add a couple more transactions that will increase this, and then I would just have to pull the money over from there. But for now, I have $277.81 left in my, um, in my Charlotte line. Once all the transactions are finalized, I'll move any extra down to the trip that I'm working on right now, which is the England trip. So I'd move all of that down here. Um, and that's how I'm going to handle it for now. It just really helps me to like separate the money. And so I can actually see that even though I have $3,300 for travel, which is a lot, um, I'm still short for the UK trip. So that's taken care of. And then medical, I injured myself about a month ago and I had to go to the orthopedic doctor, uh, but at the same time I also made a, an appointment with a primary care physician and that's because it was the soonest appointment I could get, so <laughs> I took it. Um, and then I still went to the orthopedic doctor because it was a lot sooner and I got the medication I needed to feel so better, so that's good. Um, but I kept my appointment with a primary care physician since one of my goals this year was to get a physical and go to the doctor, so that's done. Um, I, we did a full physical because it's literally been years and years since I've gone to the doctor and done one, probably like five years. I just hate doing it. 3086 is because she asked me, my blood pressure was a little high, and she asked me to take my blood pressure at home and then make note of it so that either with a follow-up appointment or I can give them a call and provide that so I can refill one of my other prescriptions. Um, and this always happens to me going to the doctor. My blood pressure is high because I'm so anxious. I just hate doing it. And then when I call in with my blood pressure, it's always like back down to normal. So I kind of expected it but it's my first time going to them, so they're, I think they're trying to be more cautious. My previous doctor like can see that history year after year. So um, anyways, I 
ba- uh, blood pressure monitor. And I've decided to create this medical category to track those expenses because I do have to pay my orthopedic doctor bill. For now, we'll go ahead and cover this with uh, ready to assign. And I'm not going to fund extra. I don't know yet how I want to handle this. Okay, let's see. So we have 191.90. The only underfunded amount is my sister's portion of the phone bill, so so that's fine. Um, 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 um. Let's take a break. We have one two more weekends of groceries so i assume that'll be around a hundred a hundred and ten dollars and then at least one two maybe three dining out so i kind of budget around 30 to 35 dollars per meal out we'll 105 and i have 139 so that should be fine um the other thing is that well my boyfriend's gonna be out of town for all these days. I'll probably treat myself to a solo meal during this time. Um, but I think the 139 should be fine. If I need to, I'll add more money from the next uh, paycheck, which is in a week. So what do I do here? Okay. Um. Oh my God, I was planning on refilling some of my sinking funds because as you can see, there's been a lot of activity here. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll just go ahead and top this off, bring it to 500. So that's done. At least we took care of some of that. Live events. I'll go ahead and send. No, I'm not going to send any to live events. I'll have to take care of that with my next paycheck. But I have lost my sunglasses. <laughs> And I'm so upset. I think it happened on Monday when I went to the doctor. This is my first time losing a pair of sunglasses and I'm completely heartbroken because they were very expensive and they were my absolute favorite sunglasses that I have ever owned, ever. And I have to rebuy them. I don't care that they cost a ton of money. I I love them. I felt confident wearing them. I They were just so cute and even my boyfriend loved them. So I'm going to rebuy them and that's going to take up my entire shopping sinking fund that I've been kind of building up a little, which really, really sucks. But what can we do? So I'll go ahead and send, let's see, 401 first. I obviously have made phone calls to all the places that I went to that day. No one's seen them. One was like, I saw them in your hand. And I was like, okay. The fact that she remembered makes me feel like, you know, (laughs) um, it's a weird thing to remember like two days later. I bought them in September when I was in Charleston. So I haven't had them for long. I typically don't mind spending money on sunglasses because I wear them every day. I don't leave the house without them. I've never lost a pair even. So I don't mind spending money on them. And then I always, always keep them for years. Like I think my last pair I had for like three years before I pulled them out of my purse and one of the little legs had broken. I had them, yeah, for like three years and the ones before like four years. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth. It just sucks that... I will probably have to rebuy these. Ugh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad because I was really, one, it sucks to spend that much money, and two, I I wanted to like start hitting some of my goals for these thinking funds. So yeah, that is it for today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.